my 26 week pregnancy update. I'm sorry if I look ultra dewy today. Today is the first day that it is below zero. <laughs> here in Canada and it is completely throwing my AC out of whack um, so I am just sweating to death and that's, that's the moral of the story hello cat off the counter today I'm going to be doing my 26 week pregnancy update I'm going to try as hard as I can to make it shorter than last week uh, well two weeks ago because I do these every other week or I'm doing these every other week so let's jump right into the questions uh, what size is baby this week baby is the size of a butternut squash which this might sound weird, but I've never actually seen one in person. They're just not very popular where I live. I've never seen one at the grocery store. So I have no idea what size reference that is. Um, best moments this week. Um, and this is going to sound super vain or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I found out this week, I went to my doctor's appointment on um, the day I turned 26 weeks. And I found out that I have gained six pounds so far this pregnancy um, I, which I mentioned in my vlog I actually vlogged the day that I went to the doctor uh, for my 26 week checkup so if you guys want to see that I'll link it up in the cards I went to the doctor and I found out that I've gained six pounds so far this pregnancy which I am super happy about I've been working really hard to try to not gain too much weight um, just because if you guys have followed me in the past with my first my body uh, I had hypermesis gravidarum which basically means that it's extreme morning sickness so I was getting sick all the time. I was on medications for it and I was in the hospital a few times, like that kind of extreme sickness. And it caused a lot of my body to just F up. Like it was just like, nope, we can't do this. Like what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Um, so uh, like my gallbladder, uh, like I got gallbladder disease, my tonsils flared up. Uh, and basically my doctor's theory is that my body went into kind of like survival mode. So every single thing that I ate went on to calories because that's really the only way to explain how I gained so much weight when I was so sick. Like it, it makes no sense at all logically. Calorie input versus output, but whatever. Whatever body, you do whatever you want. But with my first, I gained 75 pounds, which is a ton of weight. Luckily I shed most of that like before I even left the hospital. Um, so it was mostly like water, weight and fluids and like stuff like that. But still, it was a ton of weight. And then with my second, I gained 35 pounds, which was a little over the average, but still okay. Um, but this time around, I really wanted to stay around like the 25 pound mark, um, just because I have two other little ones. I don't want to deal with a bunch of extra weight because it does weigh you down. It does make mobility a bit harder. Um, the more weight that you gain, it's not that I'm happy that I'm not gaining a bunch of weight because like I'm pregnant it really doesn't matter I think it's just more of the feeling that I feel like my weight is under my control for like once in my entire life which if you've been someone who's worked out and eaten well and you still didn't lose any weight uh, it's a terrible feeling and I went through that you know my entire life and at, in high school it caused me to have a I wouldn't say an eating disorder because I was never diagnosed with it, but it was pretty freaking close. Like I was restricting myself to like five or 600 calories a day. If I ate more than that, I would cry. I ate lunch in the bathroom so my friends weren't seeing how little I was eating. That kind of gist um, in high school. And it really like, it really affected the way that I looked at weight and it just felt, I just felt so hopeless about it. Finally feel like, oh, I'm not eating like crap and I'm exercising and it's actually causing my body to not pack on a ton of weight like that's crazy um and it's just overall made for like a healthier pregnancy i have a lot more energy this time around i'm able to do a lot more with the kids which like <laughs> not like i'd have a choice anyway because they don't care but but it's just made me a lot less miserable which is great As for worst moments this week, I can't really think of anything really terrible that's happened over the last two weeks. Um, nothing that really sticks out. My husband did go back to work and he was on night shift. So that kind of sucks um, because as I mentioned in that vlog, he is local right now. So um, I'm an oil field wife. So um, basically his company policy and every company is different is that if he's within an hour radius on a site, he's allowed to come home at the end of his shift. When we're in this circumstance, like when he actually gets to come home um, and he's not like actually like living away for the two weeks I would much rather him be day 
day shift because then we get like time together in the evenings that we could spend together not much time like a couple hours but but still it's better than nothing um whereas with day shift it's hard because he's sleeping during the day where i'm looking after the kids and then like literally the minute he gets home i have to get up um to be with the kids and then like he gets like two hours with us in the afternoon um and the kids like obviously want to spend all that with him so i don't really get a lot of alone time with him when he's on um night shift but at the same time it's still better than him not being here at all so i'll take it <laughs> new and notable symptoms so i've had a couple this week um the first i would have to say is having trouble going from sitting sorry i dropped my phone where all my notes are uh my first and biggest symptom this week i'd have to say is go having trouble going from like sitting to standing having trouble bending down um which is like obviously going to be a problem like later in pregnancy especially almost at the third trimester like obviously you're gonna have trouble doing those things but i've just really noticed it over the last i'd say week or so um every time i try and sit up it's like i have to like brace myself <laughs> and like act like a crazy person um trying to get up and down this is my third baby and this is the biggest i've ever been this early so it's been a bit of a struggle like trying to maneuver and especially since I have two toddlers this time. Like my life is cray cray. Like it is constant chaos and I love it. But at the same time, like not being able to like bend down easily to pick up toys or pick up snacks my kids dropped on the floor is like pretty freaking annoying. <laughs> so it's kind of been a tough one to deal with this past week. And I'm guessing it's something I'm gonna be dealing with for the rest of my pregnancy, just cause like, I'm only gonna get bigger from here. The next thing I've been dealing with is foot pain, which is like super weird. Um, I have never had this before in a pregnancy, but just like the arches of my feet, like the flat, just my whole foot, it just aches and aches and aches. Um, and I did find like kind of a solution for it uh, and really I just think that it was just spending so much time in the house with no shoes on um, because I was walking around like obviously bare feet and I think it was just like not enough arch support I'm guessing I don't know um, but <laughs> I have found that wearing slippers really helps that so that's what I've been doing and it makes it like 90% better so like it's, it's a win and then my last new or notable symptom is indigestion Oh my gosh, this is like my second least favorite pregnancy symptom ever. First is nausea, then it's indigestion. Can you tell I'm a huge foodie, foodie and I hate when people mess with my food? <laughs> but um, indigestion sucks. I absolutely hate it. Um, I get it around this time in all of my pregnancies. I've gotten indigestion around like the late second, early third trimester. I've started getting it. It literally just ruins everything you eat because it just, it sits right here like it's just such a terrible feeling you just feel like your food's just not going down and of course it's because baby is so high that like your stomach is basically in your rib cage um but it's just it's terrible i hate it and i remember with both my previous pregnancies the first meal that i have after i have baby i'm like what is this my food goes down this is incredible like i can actually eat and not feel like crap afterwards moral of the story is i just can't wait to be able to eat and not have a baby pressing into my stomach anymore um it's really ruined a lot of food because like i said i'm a foodie i love great food and it literally ruins everything regardless of whether it's a salad <laughs> or if it's like a homemade casserole, whether it's like fast food, if it happens with everything. Like I literally had some trail mix and some water last night and it just sat. Cravings this week. I've had one main craving this week, well these past two weeks, and it got fulfilled on Saturday, I think. I'm filming this on a Tuesday, so like three or four days ago. Uh, and I've been basically craving my mom's homemade casserole. And it's like, I don't even know if you'd call this a casserole. It's like the least ha healthy casserole in the world, I believe. But it's cooked ground beef mixed with rice and tomato sauce on the bottom. And then it's chopped with mashed potatoes. And then you bake it and it's, oh, it's delicious. And she made it and I literally had like three helpings over two days. Like it was... It was insane. I'd been craving it for like two weeks at that point, and when she agreed to make it, I was like, yes, thank you. Um, and then aversions, I'm still just hating leftovers. Um, I went over this in my last pregnancy update, but just I've hated leftovers this entire pregnancy. It's just not something I've been able to eat without being nauseous. Things I did this week. 
Um, I didn't do a whole ton this week pregnancy related. Um, I did start making pregnancy updates um, two weeks ago, which was nice. And then I've been filming them and editing them and that kind of thing. So I've really just jumped back into YouTube, which is great because I love YouTube. But some other things I did this week was I did book in my oldest daughter's birthday party, um, which really isn't baby related, but it's definitely something I've been wanting to do because fall birthdays book up so quick here in the city. Um, so I got it booked in, I've got a theme picked out. So this week I'm planning on doing like invitations and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm just happy that I got that done. I also booked in maternity slash family photos this week. Um, we're going to be doing like a half maternity, half family session um, with a local photographer. I just finalized it this morning. We're gonna be doing that the first week of October, <laughs> basically Canadian Thanksgiving weekend, which I, <laughs> Me and my husband, because we're complete weirdos, we celebrate American Thanksgiving, even though we're Canadian, just because we don't agree with um, kind of the basis of Canadian Thanksgiving. I, it, it, we're weird, okay? So I didn't even realize that it was Canadian Thanksgiving weekend that weekend that I was trying to book it in. And then she was like, oh yeah, like it's, it's gonna be a great long weekend. And I was like, what? And she was like, yeah, it's, it's Thanksgiving on the Monday and you're getting your session on Friday. And I was like, oh, sorry. I. I had no idea because I'm clueless. Um, but I'm glad I got that booked in. I've never had maternity photos done, if you can believe it, um, because in my last two pregnancies, my husband luckily got laid off just as I was like entering the third trimester. So we didn't have a whole lot of extra money to just go get like professional photos done. So I, this is the first time I've ever gotten maternity photos. So it's gonna be really great. I'm really looking forward to it. And then I've also been making some progress with the boys' room. Uh, my parents ended up this past weekend and painting uh, the boys' room for me. Uh, I explained this a little bit in that vlog that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, but basically I just don't feel comfortable being around paint while pregnant. Um, so my mom and dad were like, yeah, we'll paint it. Just go buy the stuff and we'll paint it for you, no problem. So that was awesome. I'm super happy about that. It looks amazing. It was like this ugly brown color with dark brown baseboards, like just so ugly. Like the rest of everything down there is just ugly. Um, so we painted it a light like bluish gray um, with white trim and it looks amazing. Um, so that's been nice, but now I have to get like everything back in the boys' room and that's kind of my job over this next week. And then the last thing we did this week, which really is something we've been kind of mulling over for the last couple of weeks, but me and my husband have officially decided on a name for baby, but we have decided to keep it a secret until they're born. Um, this is not something we've done before. I know a lot of people do this, but with both of our kids, we have announced their names while I was pregnant, not only on YouTube, but to family and friends. And this time we are keeping it 100% a secret. We are not sharing on YouTube or social media. We're also not sharing it with any family or friends um, until he's born. So I think that's gonna be a really cool kind of I don't know, like fun thing to do for our last baby. Item of the week. I actually have two items for these last two weeks um, just because I've been really loving <laughs> these two items and I, I couldn't pick. I couldn't pick which ones were better. So my first item is this pair of slippers from Chinese Laundry. As I mentioned, I've been having horrible foot pain and slippers have really helped with that. But I'm also like almost in my third trimester and I'm sweating to death all of the time. And it's like late summer here, so it's sweating to death outside, like except for today. So like the full slippers, like I have a pair of slippers, you know what I mean, that like come over all of your toes and they're just too warm. Like I can't deal with it. I can keep them on my feet for like a half an hour and then I'm like, nope, nope, nope. This is too warm. I can't deal with this. But this flip flop style really works well for keeping your feet kind of cool, but also keeping them like supported and the fuzziness is nice. I ended up getting these on sale uh, Black Friday last year for I think like 10 bucks at Shoe Company. Um, but yeah, they're from the brand Chinese Laundry and they're super fuzzy and I absolutely love them. My next favorite is the drink I've been having every single day lately and that that is these um, Grove Square Cider Drink Mix. Um, this is super fall. <laughs> um, it's basically like spiced apple cider, like K-cups. Um, and these are amazing. Um, if you are currently experiencing indigestion, or I don't know if it's just me, maybe it's just me, but I personally find like having anything heavy makes it so much worse and it makes the indigestion last so much longer, whether it be a heavy drink, a heavy um, meal, anything just makes it so much worse. I love, you know, hot chocolate and pumpkin spice lattes and those kinds of things in the fall, but they're so heavy that it makes me feel like crap. Um, and these are kind of like a lighter fall drink 
which I love. Like it's not like super thick and creamy. It's light and it's still like fall and nice. Um, so I've been really, really loving these. I got a 24 pack off of Amazon for I think 12 or $13, so not too bad. The one thing I will say about these is if you are currently experiencing heartburn, these might not be the best option because because of the apple, they're a little bit acidic. Um, I personally am on a prescription for my heartburn because it's so bad, and with that prescription, I could barely feel any heartburn at all. Like, I might have to take one Tom uh, like every, like once a week with the heartburn medication. So that's been doing me great. But if you are experiencing a lot of heartburn and you know, you don't have a great medication or a great regimen for it, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try these cause it's probably going to make you feel like your insides are burning. Um, just, just putting it out there, just trying to make you guys less miserable. Fact of the week. So the fact of this week is that Baby is an average of two pounds this week. Um, I don't know if he's actually two pounds because we haven't done an ultrasound, but like the average baby at 26 weeks is two pounds. So that's really cool um, that if I like had to have him right, right now, which would be terrible, but um, he would be two pounds, which is kind of crazy. Looking forward to, um, really the biggest thing I've been looking forward to this week is our baby moon. We, me and my husband are going away for a long weekend here in the middle of September. Um, so right now, as I'm filming this, I think it's like uh, September 4th. We are going away on the 14th is the first day we leave and we are going to our like, it's like a big city, five hours away from us. Um, we're gonna go see my husband's best friend who lives there. We're gonna go eat lots of meals without kids. We're gonna go do some shopping. We're gonna relax. We're staying in like a really fancy kid-free hotel. It's going to be so nice. I'm looking forward to it so much. Um, so like, it's not a Caribbean vacation, but like, it's gonna feel like it, girl. <laughs> like, it is gonna be so nice. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm hoping to do some like pack with me kind of baby moon style videos or like what I packed for my baby moon. Um, if you guys would like to see that, make sure to leave it down in the comments below because I, I think I'm gonna do it anyway, regardless of whether you guys want it, but <laughs> I would really like to do that, those kinds of videos. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do like a series or just one video, I, I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet, but, <laughs> but I am hoping to do kind of some video if I can make it work um, about what I'm packing for our baby moon. So anyway, let's see the bump shot and then it'll be the end of the video. This is the 26 week bump. I don't feel like I've grown that much from last week. Maybe I have, I don't know. I'll have to wait to see the pictures, but I feel like, you know, I feel like I haven't grown that much. I feel like it's staying pretty, pretty similar to last week. I don't know, you guys let me know. Do I look a lot bigger? Do I look about the same? I feel about the same. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit briefer pregnancy update this time around. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're gonna be in the third trimester next time, guys. This is getting kind of crazy. Um, it feels like this pregnancy has just completely flown by. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.